It's Saturday. Welcome to the 300 vlog. <sighs> Hello. Hope you're all having a great day, wherever you are. And first of all, welcome along to what is the 300th vlog we are doing on the Transport Chair Avils channel. Absolutely incredible that we've got this far. Considering I took a chance on this channel, turned it into the ch vlog channel from the bus channel, and then for you guys to support the channel like you have done, you're all absolute legends. You guys make this happen, not me. But to give you something back, this is going to be a really, really special 300th vlog because we're not going to concentrate on one station, we're going to concentrate on one city. That's right, folks. Vlog 300 is going to be from the city of Manchester. And as well, I put a little post out on the community tab and some of you have sent in some questions. So uh, we're going to answer them on the way as well. So we're just uh, heading off to Rooty Town Station. We're going to get the 656 service, which will take us to Trent Valley, then Trent Valley up to Crewe, and then onwards from Crewe. So sit back, relax, enjoy the vlog. It'll probably end up being an hour and a half long, something uh, like that, because there's that many questions to go through. Let's have some fun. That started without me even pushing it. So, we're going to get started with the questions straight away. And the first questions we are going to ask is going to be from... Uh, let's start with Michael Sebastian Todd. There we go. Let's start with Michael Sebastian Todd, who's uh, always commented on my videos. Absolutely cracking gentleman that he is. And his first question is... Do you have a favourite train station and a favourite place to bus spot? I would say favourite train station at the moment is going to probably be... What would be my favourite? I'm going to say uh, South Kenton. I'm going, to, I'm going to say South Kenton. Because I think that far down in London and to be that much of a hot spot for not just passenger traffic as well but for freight it's a very very good place to uh, to go if you haven't done south kenton do go and check it out i will hopefully be uh, smart enough and intelligent enough to leave a pinned comment to go and uh, have a look at south kenton at your viewing pleasure uh bus station i think it's gotta be buchanan street hasn't it that's uh, gonna be up there if not Buchanan Street, then definitely uh, somewhere like Piccadilly. Piccadilly Gardens, that's going to be uh, up in that area. Uh, he then asked, out of all the cast, which is your favourite? I'm going to say the 195s. Don't get me wrong, the 3 free ones are good. So are the 196 and so are the 197s. But I just think the 195s are a little bit better. Just slightly, I would uh, I would go and say on that one. Very, 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 just slightly. And his last uh, question is thoughts on the uh, new EV Electro Decker that uh, Stagecoach have got the E400 EV. I would say uh, on the outside it doesn't look the prettiest bus, but when you put the liveries on it, it actually looks like a very, very pretty bus. Without the livery, it almost looks like um, a street deck. Electro, the new gen uh, electric street deck, but with a livery, it does look the part. And I'm looking forward to uh, going around and starting to spot them as well as uh, other uh, buses. So that's the first set of questions. Now on to Trent Valley. <coughs> All right, time for our first bit of medicine in the morning. <laughs> It wouldn't be a 300th vlog without an appearance from a 352, would it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Alright, well, 
over on the train to uh, Trent Valley. Let's do some more questions, uh, shall we? Next question. As Good morning, right, everyone. Thank you. It's speaking a few moments time. We're arriving into Rugeley, Trent Valley, where this service terminates. Please make sure you have all your possessions and luggage and mind the gap when stepping from the train to the platform. Yeah. Change out Rugeley uh, for services up towards Stafford and Crewe. Uh, changing at Stafford for services through to Manchester, Piccadilly. And that crew for services up towards the north and Liverpool. Over the bridge into the other platform. Uh, changing there for services down towards London Euston. Stopping at Litchfield Trent Valley, Atherston. Yep. And services down towards uh, London Euston. Yep. Okay. Bridge to Trent Valley, our final stop. Or change, or change. Thank you, he's done. Um, so, next question from Trent Barton for Life is he asked, Are you ever coming back to Burton? Simple answer, yes. I have still not finished off the Diamond East we are Midlands fleet. And with the new final station. Trent Barton have Thank now taken on some new buses Midlands as Railway. well. Please mind the we are when definitely the going to be looking at, the platform, first of all, blocking out that sun like because that sun is uh, blinding this for early in the morning. Uh, also, We've got to finish the Diamond East Midlands fleet and then go organise a Diamond trip because we've got to get the new uh, MMCs that uh, Trent Barton have had. So the simple answer to that is, yes, we are definitely coming back to Burton. I just don't know when yet. Uh, also another question that was asked is from uh, Ben Ward and uh, Ben simply asked, are you feeling uh, alright, uh, are you feeling better? Ian? And, and yeah, I am feeling uh, a lot better. Um, not just physically but also up here as well. Um, for those that don't know there was a personal situation two years ago I'm not going to talk a lot uh, about it but uh, that all got resolved fantastically in March uh, and it felt like a giant weight just lifted straight off the shoulders so definitely feeling a lot lot better than uh, we used to anyway we're about to pull it through to Trent Valley I'm coming. I'm we will be calling at Rugeley Town, Hensford, Tannock, Landywood, Lockswich North, Lockswich, Walsall, Tainbridge Parkway, Birmingham New Street, Stetchford, Lovely. Ah, oh, shit. 352X first class have the USB ports. Oh, I hope so. I bloody hope so. There's a new church, lad. Oh, yes. See, so you mean to tell me we get to see that lovable little dog on our TVs again? Oh, yes. 350-2 is the best units in the world. Oh, no, 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 no. But will they still get me to my destination on time? Oh, maybe. Uh, right then, while we're on this uh, 350 over to crew, let's get another batch of questions out of the way. And uh, these come from West Midlands Transport, who sent me 13 questions. I hate you. Love you really, mate. Love you really. So, first question of 13. Favourite tram network in the UK and why Blackpool? That was uh, an easy one to answer. Blackpool, because you not only got the modern stuff, you also get the heritage ones as well. And I don't think anything screens more heritage unit at all than Blackpool does. So, Blackpool will always be number one. Freight train on that list. Uh, favourite stations in the West Midlands excluding Birmingham Moor Street? Uh, Marston Green, Lad Marston Green, uh, Tisley, we'll put uh, Tisley in there uh, as well. Um, it all then depends on where you want to put the boundary for the West Midlands because I would put, I would say Tamworth's got to go in there. Uh, definitely. Maybe even Nuneaton. No, I think Nuneaton's stretch a bit. I think Nuneaton's more Warwickshire than West Midlands. 
but definitely I put Tamworth in there. And probably on top of that, let's add in Stanbridge Junction. Uh, least favourite station in the Midlands, Canada. Moving on. <laughs> no, there is a reason we in Rugeley say Canuck says, oh, we want to go home. There is a reason. Um, best or worst livery on the 3 2 3s? I'd say the best livery is going to be the Centro livery. How can you not love that Centro livery on a 3 2 3? As far as worst liveries, I don't think. I don't think the London Midland livery was very good on them, to be honest. I really don't uh, think that that was the uh, case. Um, question 5. If you had to pick one train to replace the 350s on the Chase Valley line, what would it be? Uh, give me give me some of that CAF uh, 331 any day of the week. I think the 4th car 331s would be perfect. Um, they, they'd be perfect for our line. I, I truly think. I think they'd all also be perfect for... Um, Warsaw Wolverhampton stretch if uh, if we're being completely honest. So Northern, if you want to give up your free free one dash ones. Opinions on the National Express ALX four hundred. My lords would be the only reply to that because they are beasts. I I think a lot of the buses you get today you can trace their origins back to the ALX four hundred. Uh, best or worst, best Midlands Metro stuff. I'm going to decline to answer that because I have not been to any West Midlands Metro stations. So I couldn't possibly say, couldn't possibly comment uh, on that one. Opinions on the 805s for Avanti. Again, it's one of those I'm going to decline to answer, but on the outside, they absolutely look the part. I, the Lee Hall vlog last week was going to be filmed at the same day as the Landywood vlog originally and uh, the intention was to be on an 805 from International straight to Birmingham New Street but then unfortunately plans fell through as uh, they generally tend to do on this channel. Uh, least favourite or least favourite TOC? Favourite TOC has to be without a shadow of a doubt probably one that's going to be very controversial Chilton Scott Rail. Uh, I would say Scott Rail as a whole. Least favourite well sitting on them but don't tell them best or worst station on the west coast main line best station on the west coast main line I answered that uh, earlier South Kenton although some would say it's not on the west coast main line it's on the Watford DC line it's on the west coast main line shut up uh, worst station ooh ooh Because actually, oh yes, I do. Berkhamstead. Berkhamstead's going to be uh, the worst. Just because uh, you really can't hear a lot, uh, a lot of announcements of Berko for, for some for strange reason. Uh, best or worst station on the Cross City Line? Well, best station for me has got to be Longbridge. Here, yeah, come back to Longbridge. Worst station. Duddeston. I think compared to the other stations, Duddeston just looks a bit more run down than all the other stations for some reason. Uh, best or worst station on the Chase Valley Line? Worst station, Cannock, without a shadow of a doubt. Best station, I'm going to say Hensford. I'm going to say Hensford, and uh, if you saw the uh, Chase Valley uh, showcase last week, you'll uh, all know why. And then his final question of 13, uh, E200 MMC or E400 MMC? There is no argument. They're both as good as each other. Except the 400 MMC might be slightly prettier. Just slightly prettier. Anyway, that's all 13 questions. Why did I answer them? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, we, I, I asked for that. I asked for that. I said, as many questions as you like and... Well, he gave me 13, but he's a legend, absolute legend, and he's a channel member as well. So, uh, 
double legend uh, in his case. Did you want the Chase Valley line yesterday? Oh. <sighs> We've missed it. We've missed it and I think I've done my knee in as well. Useful. Uh, just one second while I sort my knee out, folks. Hello there, knee. How are you? Fucking have son of that. Ugh, I'm, I'm that. Oh, that'll get it working again. All right, so now I'm uh, waiting here at Crew instead of uh, on my way to Crew on the 323, which means I'm going to have to put in the... Uh, plan and uh, redo it all again. Let's do some more questions. And uh, this time we have questions from DM Transport videos. Uh, who asks, first of all, what's your opinion on the Pride Network a year on? I think the Pride, ne uh, Pride Network, the B Network, ugh, I do it all the same as um, I think the B Network definitely is a good idea. The only issue that I have with it is the uniforming of all the bus deliveries. Because it's only when they get up close and personal that you know who's running what route. But then again, most, if, as soon as you see a diamond, you see a street deck, you know who that uh, is straight away. Well, I like the B Network. And we will be doing some B Network coverage uh, later in the year for you all, so uh, stick around for that. Uh, he then asks, have I got a favourite electric bus livery? To be honest, not particularly, but let's have a shout out for all the liveries that Cardiff bus have. Because Cardiff bus, they have some absolutely busted liveries for their uh, U-tongs. As does the Newport um, bus uh, livery as well. That, uh, that hits uh, a little differently as well. And then he asks, have I got a favourite Pride livery train? That's right, everyone. It's uh, free. Eight the dog kid. It's three ninety one one nine. We all know it's going to be three ninety one one nine. There was never any hesitation on that one, not in the slightest. Anyway, now that we're not on the Northern service, we gotta wait for the Avanti. Fucking London North Western fucking railway. Kev, goodness! Also, why are you complaining about LMWR? They're shit! Of course they're gonna be bad! Mind you, you got the uh, you got that Civity to look at. And uh, that Avanti West Coast Pendolina looks like it's coming in the platform. Worst train company of existence. I should be on my way on Northern Adam right now, but I'm not. 08, 13, I'm on this event Fact of life. If it is your beloved, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the reason of why Ian Paul's ego is about to be destroyed. To London, I'm on this event which is three nights. Oh my fucking guys, beloved. That's what we're talking about. The f the fucking ego has been bruised. L N W R pull a shit maneuver to only be saved by three ninety one oh four. Avanti West Coast to the rescue, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is poetic justice. What's he gonna say now? I wonder. I knew I was doing. I was testing you. You have no idea, Ian. The ego is battered! 
And that is good! What? Oh, I love, like, I love you, London North Western Railway. I never doubted you for a second. I never doubted you for a second. I knew what you were doing, I was testing you. <laughs> I knew what I was doing, I was testing you. Yeah, so remember when I said uh, Ian would praise LNWR and uh, thank thank LNWR for uh, this manoeuvre so that he can then travel on 39104 and then say I knew what I was doing, I was testing you. Yeah, that's exactly my point. The ego has been battered. And that's good because we get to see it all goes wrong for Ian, doesn't it? And we love it. Oh, God, chaos. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I forgot what I, I forgot what my, what was the point? I'm going to help. I'm going to get my cat. Ninja. Ninja. What was the point? He's telling me to fuck off. All right, then. Bye. <laughs> I love you, London Northwestern Railway. I never doubted you for a second. Everyone's gonna say now that's the quickest U-turn we've ever seen out of Ian in his life. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, while I'm on 390 uh, 104, let's do some more. Uh, who should we do? Let's do Ruben. Not, not literally, not literally. But let's do Ruben Ashwell's questions. First he asks, what's the least favorite rail route in the UK? You know what? I don't know. That, that's a that's a really uh, really tough one to ask answer. Because what do you designate as least favourite? I wouldn't even know what you designate as least favourite. Uh, being honest with you, um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know on that one. Uh, you then ask what's the least favourite train in the UK, 352. Uh, it will always be a 352 as someone's about to, uh... Good morning. Good morning, everyone. If you just join us at Crew, we do have a shop which is situated in Carriage C in Fort Charlie, and it is open. I do serve hot and cold drinks for snacks, sandwiches, porridge, there are cakes. I'm glad there also is. Also, there are meal deals. I'm glad there is. And I do accept debit and credit card, including contactless Apple payment and cash payment. I'm glad you do. Once again, the onboard shop situated in Carriage C for Charlie, towards the front of the train, is open. And uh, so yeah, 352 will always be the abomination, as far as uh, as far as I'm concerned. Change my mind. And then he asks, is there a rail route that I've not done yet that I'd love to do? Yes, the Heart of Wales Line. I have not done that stretch of track yet. Uh, I may do it for a future vlog. I uh, I don't know uh, yet, but uh, we will we will have to wait and see on that because that's going to need that's going to need some planning. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to sit back and relax now. I've got to redo the plan. Because um, of London North Western Railway, I love London North. I never doubted them for a second. Um, but yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what the plan comes up with. Oh, you know what? Let's film her out. Why not?
Okie dokie doodly, I'm half an hour late. But that does mean I will make it up later on in the session. I have 150s. Superior Sprint, yeah, yeah, we get, we all get the uh, Superior Sprinter stuff, Tico, we know. I have to pick. Dry-ish. It'll do. Some people, let me tell you. Anyway, here we are at the first station of the showcase, folks. This is Heaton Chapel Railway Station, operated by Northern, two platforms to its name. And Heaton Chapel Railway Station was opened in 1859 by the London North Western Railway as Heaton Chapel and Heaton Moor. Uh, and it stayed that way for uh, a long period uh, until it was electrified in 1960 when the Heaton Moor part was dropped. 
and it just became known as Heaton Chapel. I would certainly say it's one of my favourite stations in the Manchester area, mainly because of the fact here we are, we are four tracks wide, you get views for days down both sides of the platform, and it's, it's just a great station. It's just a, a fantastic station. Now, uh, like I said, we had to, have to change the plan a little bit, but uh, it's actually worked out in our favour as well. So uh, all is uh, all is good in the hood, as uh, they would say. But uh, we are here for about 15 or so more minutes, and then we're off to the next station of the showcase. Hey, now look at this. 2023, they gave Heaton Chapel, Transport for Greater Manchester, did the best kept station in Cheshire Award. Yeah. Take that, uh, Sandbatch, with all your millions of awards that you uh, didn't uh, win in the first place. I would also like to point out this little array right uh, over here. That looks beautiful. Anyone need that for haulage? There is a bench, whether it classes uh, itself as a you-know-what bench, that remains to be foreseen. I think it does, personally. Okay then folks, here we are at station number two of the showcase. It should come no surprise that when we do Heat and Chapel, we always do Leventy Railway Station, operated by Northern, two platforms to its name. And there's no official opening date for uh, Leventy Railway Station. I imagine it was somewhere around the 1850s, uh, 1860s with Heaton Chapel. And it was opened as Leventy and Burnage Railway Station. Uh, before, in 1910, the Burnage part was dropped when Burnage Station was opened. And uh, it simply became known as Leventy Railway Station. Heaton, it's not, I would say, as good as Heaton Chapel, Leventy. It's a lot more basic, um, I would say. And the one thing there is a difference is there is no step free access uh, between the platforms here. So uh, that makes things uh, incredibly difficult, I uh, must say. Now, we were expecting a move a Heat and Chapel. It doesn't look like it's running now. But uh, it is a shame that because uh, we like uh, special moves uh, during the showcases, don't we? But uh, anyway, we are going to be here for an hour. And then we're going to go into Manchester and onwards to uh, the next part of the showcase.
Uh, right, now I got to go over that there. Over that there. Goodness. Oh, just in time.
All right then, folks, it's the uh, free through one just uh, leads to the background there. We're at Manchester Oxford Road Railway Station. It's our third station, operated by Northern. It has five platforms to its name, although to be fair, it's actually four because platform one doesn't really see that much uh, use at all, does it, uh, now? Um, it was first opened in 1849 by the Manchester South Junction and Altrincham Railway, um, whose headquarters were just down the road at Deansgate Railway Station. Now, it stayed in the position it was in until 1960 when it underwent a major refurbishment and a major rebuild at the same time. And it has since had another major refurbishment in the form of the uh, entrance to the station. That was some um, uh, five, uh, five-ish years ago now. It is the third busiest station in the Manchester area, uh, behind two others that we will visit uh, later on, and ahead of one other which we'll visit uh, momentarily. You can probably guess which one uh, that is then. But yeah, it's it's a difficult one today because it seems to be everything's running late coming down from Dean's Gate, and then as that's arriving, it's arriving at the same time as one's departing. So it's really not helping me out uh, in the slightest. But then again, when, when's there to help me out in the slightest? Um, so we're here until 12.27, then we're going to jump on the Southport train and we're going to go to our next destination. Anyway,
again, Slam. Welcome to uh, Dean's Gate, everybody. Uh, operated by Northern, two platforms to its name. And you can change here for the interchange with De the Metrolink services over at Dean's Gate Castlefield, which is, I'm hoping, somewhere in that direction. Hold on. Uh, ah, it's there. It's right there. I knew where it was. I was testing it. Uh, this station, like Manchester Oxford Road, opened in 1849 by the Manchester South Junction and Altrincham Railway. And uh, this is the this is where it's always been. Uh, you can see bits of what looks like a castle over uh, over on the rampart to the bridge uh, just there. Looks very uh, very spectacular, very nice. And this is the fifth busiest station of the Manchester Group stations. The uh, fourth one is coming up uh, momentarily, but uh, yeah, it, it looks like it's all gone to hell because uh, there's been a points failure at uh, Manchester Airport, so services are coming in, they're coming out, and I haven't a clue what they're doing. I mean, this uh, this one right here should be going to Manchester Airport, that's actually going to Manchester Oxford Road, so they haven't got a clue. Anyway. Uh, we are here until half past and then I am determined to get my Southport service uh, onto the next station. Good, did it.
Uh, right then everybody, here we are at station number one, two, three, five for the session. This is Salford Crescent Railway Station, operated by Northern, two platforms to its name in an island configuration. And Salford Crescent is the relative new boy. It was opened in 1987 by British Railway. And its main purpose was to serve the two campuses of Salford University. That being Peel Road and... no the Peel campus and the Frederick Road campus. I think I got that right. Someone's going to... Oh, wait a second. Uh, many apologies. Glorious Sprinter. Uh, and that is the reason why Salford Crescent Station is the fourth busiest station in the Manchester stations grouping. Because you have uh, Oxford Road as number three, you have this one as number four, and then you have Deansgate as number five. You can probably imagine what the first two are already, can't you? So, with that being said, we are going to have ourselves an hour here. And then we are going to head down towards... Oh, here comes the freight train. I better get this as well. Uh, sorry about that, folks. And that... Uh, I didn't get a photo of that freight train because my camera decided, hey, that was a great moment to uh, have a piss around, which was uh, useful. Anyway, like I said, we're here until about half past two, and then we are on our way to Salford Central, the new look Salford Central. And we're going to see what that's uh, looking like.
Well, at least you can get off it properly now. Who remembers that really high gap that it had here? Right then, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the next station of the showcase. This is Salford Central Railway Station, operated by Northern. It has two platforms to its name. Um, and Salford Central Railway Station was opened in 1838 by the Manchester Bolton and Berry Railway as just Salford. It then, in 1858, became known as Salford New Bailey Street, before in 1865 reverting back to just Salford. In, in the 1960s, it was then given the suffix Central, Salford Central. However, it, to in, in 2023, this station closed completely. It had services suspended because they were making platform modifications. Because when we were here before, these platforms were a lot lower than intended and I mean a lot lot lower so and now they've had to raise the platforms up somewhat to accommodate the train because when you stepped off it was a horrible step and I do mean a horrible horrible step um, it's nice to see the vegetation has also grown you can hardly see the fast lines useful so uh, no photos of uh, 800s or less than the, over that side for me but uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fan. I've got to be honest. Uh, I don't mind that they've raised the platforms up, but I'm just not a fan. Not a fan. Anyway, uh, here, here for an hour, the hour, and then uh, we're off into Manchester, Victoria.
They face Manchester, Victoria. Please remain vigilant. If you see anything suspicious, please report it to our team or the British Council. Straight to the lift. Phil has been around with the MMCs. Ha! I'm kidding, Phil. I'm kidding. This way. This, this place was an absolute hub of whatever it, uh, it was. Um, some of the pl platforms did close eventually and uh, it underwent major refurbishment uh, as well. Nowadays it is a shadow of its uh, former self uh, in just the six platforms here at uh, Manchester Victoria. But uh, yeah. It's the it's the second busiest station in uh, in Manchester. This uh, this station. And I think we all know what the first uh, station is. I don't think it was uh, going to come a surprise as to what the first station was going to be. So we are here for uh, a little bit, and then we are onwards to that station. Can you guess which one it is yet? Of course you can. You know you can. Would have loved to have been back here during the peaks of the 40s uh, period. That, I bet that would have been absolutely my lordage. Platform 
Oh, hello. God, I, I just can't stop hitting uh, special guests today, can we? Now we have 802213 here. It's the first time I'm actually seeing this uh, properly in the flesh. It actually doesn't look too bad. I would certainly say that the, uh, the color, the uh, sh triangles there, definitely uh, work well with the Trans Pennine uh, livery. That's my opinion anyway. Final stop for the day.
thing we would agree on is tridents in the god tier section. Uh, question two, do you think about having a once a month for your vlogs featuring other creators? I would love to collab with other creators. I really, really would. It's just finding the right opportunity and finding the right person to collab with. Although some would say you're doing collabs with Tico at the moment. Yeah, I, I mean, I get where you're coming from. I more think they're um, friendly vlogs though than, uh, than anything. Uh, he then asked, it's the funniest time that the goose has driven you insane. The goose always drives me insane. Any vlog that he appears in, he will drive me insane. I think he would uh, agree to that as well, that he definitely, definitely drives me completely up the wall. Sometimes completely batshit crazy, but uh, there you go. That's, uh, that's that. And uh, his final question, for your train vlogs, have you considered adding a best, cheapest route option for people who have no idea how to traverse each station? <coughs> Something I'll have to consider. Definitely, uh, definitely consider. Don't give me the stream. Uh, definitely consider for the future. If not um, before the end of the year, definitely when the year starts, so that uh, people get an idea. But uh, that is another question uh, set down. There's only one person left. Ladies and gentlemen, he said he'll swing for the street decks. He fucking loves the street decks. <laughs> there we go. There's your proof. He he's gonna swing for them, cuddle them in his arms, and say, "My darling, I love you." And you set my soul on fire. I want your exhaust so bad, baby. That's what it'd be like with the street days. And then the MMCs, tell the MMCs to fuck off. Why do you think there's no MMCs in Stratford? Logic! Fucking street decks in Stafford. They need to fuck off. You need to fuck off. Back to Roosley. <laughs> Come on, hurry it up. This is very tight for my connection. It is 35108 though. Who's on the back? 35267. That's not my train. Have we been to go ages?
Bones man, that was bones. We ain't gonna miss it. Not in the slightest. This is Today on the funniest shit I have seen left on a train. Fucking hell! Right, so I have been given a lot of clips from Ian to edit for his uh, Transport Travels YouTube channel uh, for a while now, over a year. Some have been outrageously crazy and where I would just rant and rant and rant. But this... This is the, uh, if there was an Olympics, this would be the fucking gold medal right here, because, I mean, it's reminding you, you're back in Roosley, so, what do you expect? It's Roosley, for Christ's sake! I was expecting it to be at Canuck, but, I mean, it's not that far from Roosley, innit? Please mind the gap when leaving the train, and step onto the platform before removing Luggage and push chairs. Ghost Lord man! He just touched it! You dirty bastard! Oh, it's not pregnant. I think that street deck you swung at Stafford's gonna be upset as well, Ian. Thank God. We don't need more of these 352s popping up around the place. Look, this is why you get off second coach of the first car of the 350, always. Because it leads you right to the exit. Ah. The fuck it is, it's rudely down! <laughs> 350 skill issue there, ladies and gentlemen. And that one person left, ladies and gentlemen, is undoubtedly the madman of Mordor himself. Yes, I have questions here from the architecture of chaos himself, Mr. Tico Sprinter. Do go check him out. He he do, he helps me with a lot of uh, editing um, of these videos. He does. And he's, he's an absolute amazing, uh, amazing chap. Proud to call him a friend. Almost uh, a brother, I would say. The brother we never had. So, uh, his first question. When do you plan to review the kites? Now, you listen to it. I am aware that there are places coming out with the uh, right kite now. I am. I am, I am, uh, I'm aware. We will get to them. Don't worry, we will get to them. I know Leicester have some. I know Norwich have some. Uh, there's another area which has them. I don't know where that is. It might be Leeds. It's not Leeds, it's Cambridge. It's one of the two. But we will, we will get to them. Don't panic. We will get. When do you plan on reviewing the Enviro 100 MMC? When they're built. Which at the moment is a... <clears throat> they are nowhere at the moment. I think Dunfermline are due to get theirs first. But it's, it's a case of when are they going to get them? Question three... Um, I haven't a clue what to make uh, of this in. Thoughts on right bus passing through its seeing machine's drowsiness detection on street decks. Huh? I'll 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 just take um I'll just take the first word of that sentence and the last two. Thoughts on street decks, they're fucking shite. They're <laughs> Favourite train trip you've done so far? You cannot beat the Caledonian Sleeper. 
You cannot. And we've done the sleep. Well, I've done the sleeper now. Uh, crew to Inverness. I've done Aberdeen to King's Cross. And I've done crew to Fort William and crew to Dalmuir. I've also done uh, Waverley to King's Cross as well. And I can honestly say all of them are good. Settle and Carlisle will be up there. The Settle and Carlisle line will, will be uh, up there. I think as well the, the Huddersfield-Sheffield line. That's uh, that's going to run people uh, very close as well. Favourite bus trip you've done so far? Now, I'm going to say my favourite so far wasn't so much of a bus. It was more coach. And that would be the overnight M11. It will always, always, always. The overnight M11 from Glasgow down to uh, London will always be my favourite. It's just a shame now that it doesn't stop at Birmingham anymore. Because... Uh, I used to be able to go go to Glasgow, get some sleep. I'd be in Birmingham for ridiculous o'clock in the morning, and then I'd be straight back home and get some more sleep. So that's uh, that's a shame that uh, that is uh, happened. Uh, question six: Do you still demand a second opinion about Electrolina from Sarah with the trains? Now look here, okay. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. It just so happens that people's opinions about the Electrolina are wrong. They're shite. There you go. That is the only opinion that matters. Do do as well. Go check out his bus rants he does. Because they are hilarious. And that is the intended uh, purpose of them. Is that um, they are hilarious. And speaking of, uh, his last question, his favourite bus rants from his channel. I've got to say that I, I can't pick one as a specific favourite, Tico. I've had fun doing every single one of them in their in their own way. And that is the intention that they are. He, he comes across as a bit of a see you next Tuesday sometimes. But it's all done in the name of fun, humour and chaos. He, I think, deep down inside, he knows that I despise the street decks with... An iron fist. Just like I hope he knows that I know he hates the 172s. But it's just funny when it's uh, brought up. Because all hell can break loose at the moment's notice. So, uh, yeah. That was, uh, that was fantastic. Anyway, that is going to end vlog 300 for you all. What are we going to do for 400? We... We need to do something for Vlog 400. I don't know what it is, but we need to do something. So, leave suggestions. What what should we do off for Vlog 400? Let, let's do something crazy. Something I haven't done before. Let, let, I'm, I'm going to leave myself in your capable hands. What are we, we going to do? And watch everyone say, uh, run and jump off a cliff right now. <laughs> anyway. I know this video has been a long video. Thank you all ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Your continued support of the channel. You guys on the Summer Showcase has recently been knocking it, knocking it out of the park. And thank you to the members as well. Uh, it's free 99 for a membership. If you want the membership, um, get it. We're going free vlogs a week at the moment. You get vlogs early. You get shouted out at the end of videos. You, you you could even who knows maybe we do some stuff in the future with the members i i i um i don't know but that is going to end m next week we start n and n is going to be a hot one and i don't mean hot in terms of content i mean hot in terms of the weather although the content will be fire too so uh thank you all hope you enjoyed and who knows, I'll see you in 100 episodes time for Vlog, vlog 400. Where it'll be, who knows. i to start planning a Christmas special as well. What should I do for Christmas? Oh, I know. We'll do um, Christmas on the uh, Snow Hill lines. Hey, Tico, look, it's one seven. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. I'm, I'm going to drink this. I've, I've, I've lost it. <laughs>